you were just scrolling through Instagram, you would come across Loft House Living. You would see that we carry a lot of product in the same color palette and that we just sell stuff. And that's totally fine. That's the intention of why our page is so cohesive. It's supposed to attract to you if you like natural, neutral colors. And so, yeah, that's what you would see if you're just scrolling through Instagram. However, Loft House Living is different if you follow us. First of all, it's my last name and my husband's last name. I took it on when we got married. And so that's always kind of a fun fact for people. If you do follow us on Instagram, you are seeing how we live as loft houses, essentially. And so we do have white walls. We do have very light colored floors. We do have white couches. And this is something that I always get teased about because we have two young children. We have a dog and everyone's like, why would you ever choose that? Like, it's going to be filthy. Well, living as a loft house, it's about that imperfection and that the fact that we do have to wipe our walls down when our kids come through with like paint or that our kids throw um, spaghetti sauce across the kitchen and it goes on our white curtains. <laughs> and so we have to clean them and we shrink them and it's a big joke. Like it's just a very interactive page that shows we have fun. We don't think take things too seriously. We think that things are things, like of course you wanna look after the things you spend money on, but um, they're also just possessions, right? And so if you're not enjoying them, there's no point to them. So anyways, it's just a reason to follow along if, uh, if you have time and if you uh, show interest in, in what we carry. So Loft House Living began long before I was in Loft House. <laughs> I feel like my interests in products were different from other kids. Um, I remember my girlfriend Jill and I, we would go to the Bay downtown in, in uh, Winnipeg and we'd go with our moms for lunch at the paddle wheel. And then, like any other 12 year old, we would go to the furniture section and we'd pick out our furniture that we're gonna have in our apartment one day. And that was like a really fun thing for us to do. I remember for a birthday gift when I was really young, all I wanted was a really comfortable duvet and a beautiful duvet cover and linen sheets that matched. Anyways, it's just, I've always had a huge interest in homeware, so I think that foundation for Loftus Living started at a very young age. So Jesse and I met each other in college. We were 19 and 20 years old. We fell in love very young. We got married really quickly just to couple of kids 10, 11 years ago. And uh, and so what I didn't really realize, I didn't really put it together. We, we both didn't really put it together that I had this love for home, homeware and design. And he was a painter, a carpenter, um, a trim, like he just did everything hands-on, home renovations. And uh, so over the last 10 years together, we have really transformed some spaces together. We've created furniture together and never really thinking like the end goal was a shop or a loft house living or anything like that, but it really came together naturally. And when we were given the opportunity to open a store together and have a storefront, um, you know, we, uh, we whipped it together on a budget and uh, slowly evolved the, the process of, of what our store is and what it looks like. And it is what it is today because of um, us incorporating different things that happen in our lives. So a lot, a lot has changed in 2020, I think for a lot of different businesses and, and families and homes and the world. <laughs> um, on a personal note, we got a dog named Bruce and um, I learned how to be a stay-at-home mom, which I've never been before, so that was, that was a new challenge and um, an unexpected blessing in disguise, I guess, to, to be able to spend time with my kids. Um, and with the store, we had our basement um, large space beneath Saffron Road, and so, you know, amidst, um, COVID-19 and people staying home and you know our online store kind of taking off a little bit we really didn't need the space so we downsized and moved our stuff up to the main level of Saffron Road so we occupy a small space in Saffron don't get me wrong downsize sounds like a negative thing it is awesome for us 
and it, the small space is filled with fabulous things. Like, this, despite how small it is, you will stand there for, you could stand there for a while just looking at all of the shelves and all of the different things and being able to smell the candles, feel the pillows, you know, just experience some of the products that you see online. So with, um, with our relocation and, you know, maybe not having to be as hands-on in the store setting, this has really been able to give us that flexibility and that personal touch with Loft House Living where um, all, of our home, all of our goods for the store actually come to our front door at our house. And so I'm able to open up the products at my house. So in my natural habitat, I'm able to pull them out the way I envision them to be in my home, style them, maybe keep a couple <laughs> for myself and uh, photograph and share with you my personal thoughts on um, products, whether they're good or bad. I'm pretty honest on Instagram. And, uh, and just uh, you're able to really see it organically um, come to life, I guess. So it's, this change has been hard, but it's also been great for so many reasons. So I would say the biggest, the biggest change for us is that a lot of our business is happening online. Whereas prior to in 2019 and back, we all of our business was coming in through the door. So as much as online feels a little um, less personal, We've been able to deliver, I want to say, nine out of ten packages to people's homes, have conversations with people, connect. Um, I love seeing people's French porches. It's kind of fun <laughs> to see how people decorate things or not. And, uh, and so it's, it's really had a meaningful place in my heart that we were able to, to do these deliveries. And uh, I know my mom Kitty has been helping out as well, and so she would feel the, the same way as well. So I guess what I would want people to know about Loft House Living is that it's our family. We are human, we make mistakes, we work our way through them. Um, sometimes it's on social media, sometimes it's not. Uh, we really, really mean well. We try and spread positivity. We try and keep it light and fun and uh, keep a smile on your face during whatever times are happening. And uh, overall, we just love connecting with people. We love you know, if we have similar interests, it's great. Even if we don't, it's so nice to, to meet so many people through Instagram. It's, it's a wild world we live in right now. And so if you share, you know, liking some of the products that we sell or, you know, a shark themed birthday for our kids, you know, it's, it's just great to connect. So never hesitate to, uh, to reach out over, uh, over messages to us because we, we'd love to hear from you. So one thing I often say on social media, and I guess I just want to say it on camera, <laughs> is that we genuinely use everything that we sell and we love everything that we sell. So we're not just selling you something to make money. We use it, we love it, we can stand behind it, we're confident with it. We can tell you how to style it or how to use it or a trick, maybe you have to kick it on the side to get it to really work better. Like we'll let you know because we use it and we love it. And so when you're buying something from us, don't ever hesitate to reach out, ask a question, and uh, we normally have a pretty educated answer because uh, it's in our house, or our kids use it, or our dogs chew it, or whatever. We, uh, we seriously love everything that we sell, so. Yeah. My hopes and dreams for Loft House Living would be that the business continues to evolve with us as we take on different chapters in our life. So for example, you know, there was five years ago we didn't have kids and uh, and now, you know, we had a baby almost two years ago and so we started up a baby section within our, within our shop. We just got a dog this year so now we have some puppy things and, you know, we don't like to take on anything that is foreign to us. We like, you know, product wise. So um, as things come up and as we, you know, live our lives, it's, uh, it's fun to have a business that evolves with you and doesn't stay stagnant. Um, and then also along with that, the whole reason why we do this is having and building um, a beautiful community of friends and family and Instagram friends that uh, we honestly love and cherish so much. Um, and, and really cheer us on every step of our way.